Are you going to eat some of the soup, Scarlett? Robin Maselli has lived in Nestor for nearly a decade, living there with her husband, two kids, and mom. We love the Nestor area that we live in. It's a quiet neighborhood. I love my neighbors. They're awesome. The family enjoys what the Imperial Beach community has to offer and its scenic beaches, but lately has changed things. We still go to the beach. There's lots of fun restaurants there and, and things like that, but you can't go in the water because it's dangerous. And there's concern it's more than just the water. Her youngest daughter battled pneumonia in September, and her oldest has been dealing with severe sinus congestion for five weeks. Robin says the symptoms only surface when they're at home. When the family went on vacation for a week earlier this month, her daughter's sinuses cleared. I just wonder if it's based on the, the poor air quality. Since the end of November, the San Diego County Air Pollution Control District has measured elevated hydrogen sulfide levels in the Nestor area more than 15 times. According to the CDC, hydrogen sulfide is considered a highly toxic substance that can cause coughing, headaches, and nose and throat irritation. One measurement from the Air Pollution Control District coming in nearly five times what the state considers safe. Here off of Saturn Boulevard in Nestor is the hot spot of the sewage smell. And over the summer, this was the main focus area of a field study led by the Prather Group at UC San Diego on hydrogen sulfide levels. Now, that study is complete. And they were in the ranges of 9 to 12 of hydrogen sulfide parts per million on all of these. And so at those levels, this is whenever you start to see dangerous health conditions. ABC 10 News was there when researchers and IB's mayor released the initial findings of the field study in September. The next day, I was there when former County Board of Supervisor Nora Vargas announced this. At this time, we're telling our communities that it's safe. People were confused. So ABC 10 News requested the data from the county's Health and Human Services Agency to compare the research. So let's start with the samples taken right at the Tijuana River off Saturn Boulevard on September 9th. Both teams from the county and universities found levels higher than the state's safety standard. The county measuring 15.5 parts per million and UC San Diego measuring around 20 parts per million. At one point during the field study, the university researchers pulled out of the South Bay because of the poor air quality. You usually see those types of levels at sewage treatment plants or in sewer systems, not in communities. Researchers from both teams also took samples farther away from the river on the same night. And this is where the county and university's results differ. The county's research measured no levels of hydrogen sulfide from 200 feet away on September 9th. But UCSD's research shows something different. The university stationed a mobile trailer about a half mile away from the river. At one point, they picked up levels 70 times higher than what the state considers safe for an hour-long reading. This chart shows the hydrogen sulfide levels and the daily odor complaints from people in the area on the 9th. That day was both the highest level of sulfide measured and the highest amount of odor complaints. The university determined these two data sets supports their belief hydrogen sulfide is entering the community. And spread is most severe in the evening when there's a high river flow and little to no winds. When I asked Robin about the results from UCSD's research, she said, It's just terrifying. We asked the county's Health and Human Services Agency about their report. A spokesman tells ABC 10 News the county stands by their readings, adding the U.S. EPA and California Department of Public Health agreed it was accurate. The spokesman said they haven't seen the new report, so they can't comment on it. This new study is just the starting point for UCSD's research into the sewage issue. This moment is an indicator of a major issue, right? And this is kind of setting the stage for our follow-up reports in you know, such a complex mixture of sewage and industrial waste. There's a lot to be seen. Ben says the biggest takeaway from the paper is the numbers confirm the community's concern. They are acutely aware and involved in this issue and their voices are extremely valid and should be listened to. This new study is currently under peer review and most research studies are published after the peer review process. But Ben says because of their confidence in the results and urgency of the data, the teams published it and it's now available for public view. For ABC 10 News, I'm Adam Campos.